Thank you, Katie. Hurricane Ian devastating many industries in southwest Florida, including the fisheries here. It was in October, right after the hurricane, Governor Ron DeSantis requested NOAA fishery disaster assistance to help out the industry. And Fox 4 has learned that NOAA actually sent a letter back to the state this week saying that that funding simply isn't coming, writing that the requirements were, quote, not met for this regional fishery disaster. Fox 4 meteorologist Andrew Shipley has been tracking this story since the very beginning, and he gets us all up to speed on this. Andrew. Yeah, and right behind me is uh, Island Seafood Market, one of the many uh, fish houses that were damaged and destroyed, as well as one of the grouper boats uh, here as well. Uh, I did speak to shop owner uh, and fisherman Casey Streeter about this delay and what it means for the industry. By the federal government not coming in and supporting our fisheries and our time and needs, I mean, it really puts us on the verge of, of losing these fisheries in southwest Florida. When Hurricane Ian hit southwest Florida, it destroyed four or five fish houses on Pine Island, where fishermen offload their catch. It also crippled the shrimping fleet for months. Casey Streeter says the loss of infrastructure is still a problem. If you don't have a place to execute these fisheries, you're not going to have fishermen. And when you lose your fishermen, your current fishermen to land jobs and they leave the fishery, they're not going to return. They don't return. And if we lose our working waterfront, Streeter says the economic impacts will be widespread. In these fisheries in Lee County alone, we're the third largest seafood producing county in the state. You know, upwards of 25 to 30 million dollars in dockside value, which upstream value um, through restaurants and resellers is in the hundreds of millions of dollars. I mean, this is a major financial impact to Southwest Florida if we don't bring these fisheries back. In the letter NOAA sent to FWC, it states the National Marine Fishery Service will continue to work with the state to assess whether fishery failure due to fishery resource disaster occurred. NOAA says a fisheries resource disaster must be caused by forces beyond the control of fishery managers to mitigate through conservation measures. If it is determined, then the Secretary of Commerce may provide disaster assistance. Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission says they are working with NOAA to find a way. In a statement, they say FWC is committed to assisting Florida's fishing industry as they recover from the devastating impacts of Hurricane Ian. We are continuing to work with our federal partners to identify ways we can support recovery efforts and coordinate next steps. And if that aid doesn't come... Fishermen are, are gritty, so we'll find a way, but these challenges that we're going to all face, some won't come back from it because it's too great of a cost. And as of now, Streeter says he's planning on coming back this winter in hopes to be able to supply fish again for the Christmas season. Unfortunately, he says if others don't get this assistance, they may not be so lucky. On Matt Lachey, meteorologist Andrew Shipley, Fox 4.